it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today with my M140i back from a little Euro trip. Got all the grime off it now. That thing was absolutely filthy when we got back. Around 2,000 miles I did in the car. Um, so it's been taking a well-deserved rest in the garage for the time being. But today's video, we're gonna be making a couple of changes to the car. We all know that there's quite a few modifications on this car so far, but because of those modifications, I now have a few problems with the original car. Well, I say problems um, in inverted commas. Um, so we'll run through that and then I'll show you uh, the plan for today's video with the stuff that we're gonna be putting on. Some of you, to be honest, might already guess. So the first step of today's video, um, well actually the parts are in the boot, so let's uh, grab them quickly. It is annoying just how dirty the back of this car gets. I guess it's because it's just a hatchback, isn't it? All the mud just collects up there. Now, in here, we have a little parcel. Let me grab it quickly. Ooh, from Auto ID. I'm sure um, most of you BMW guys out there will know of Auto ID. They are basically an aesthetic modification company and they have supplied me with da -da 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 -da, some, let me pop that down there, gloss black, of course, M3 and M4 style mirror covers. Now, you can get a whole new unit, which is basically taken from the fully fledged M car, I suppose you could say, um, which basically, well, it's a direct replacement of the whole unit. Whereas I've taken the cheap option, I've just gone for the covers. So let's get them out of the box, which is carefully placed on the windscreen. I'll pop this on the tripod and get them fitted. I'll be honest, I'm not really very good at unboxings, um, but I have had a peek in here and they do look very good. Um, so, we've got a nice little bow air freshener, lovely. Uh, that's gonna blow away, so I'll put that in my pocket for now. Um, now actually, quite annoying, which I've just noticed actually, and an ideal situation that I'm changing them out. On my road chip, I've got a very, very nasty stone chip on this mirror, um, which is kind of annoying, but also at the same time, not too bad, because they're coming off today. So, let's have a little look in here. Very nicely packaged. There we go. There's one. Now, actually, if I... See what I mean? I'm not very good at unboxings. Uh, in here, we can obviously see the very distinct style of an M mirror. Um, so let's get this out of the packet. Conveniently, it's the one for this side, but that is essentially the unit. Uh, it's basically an extension up towards this bit, which goes uh, into the main section of the car. That looks awesome. Okay, so basically, in order to prepare the mirror um, for installation, you have to basically use the electronic um, dials down there to move it in and down as much as possible. So then you can get your hands inside. You've got to take the mirror out and then there's three little catches inside. Pop them out, take this out, and then this obviously shares the same OEM catches. So we've got one, two, and three. Um, pop it on, make sure it's secure, and job done. So I'm gonna do my best to do that very quickly and sleekly. That's, that's not a word. Mirror is now out, you basically, well, you can use a trim tool. I, of course, didn't. I just used my thumbs, which is probably a bit stupid. Uh, so you've got to be careful of all the catches. Another thing you've got to be careful for is the heat transfer. So this is obviously a heated mirror. Um, so you've got to be careful with all the connectors there. But basically, I can't see this because uh, I'm on top of it now and I can't see like that. Um, three catches in here, pop it out, and then we'll have a naked mirror. So, right, there we go, that'll do. The middle one is the trickiest by far because basically under here you've got the uh, the hub for the mirror and it's tucked right up behind it. But we have the new one, which I'm very excited to get on. I'm gonna do a basic test fit to make sure. Lovely jubbly. And then like I said, this uses the OEM3 clips. Um, so it should just be a case of lining them all up and clicking them all in. I think that is job done. There we go. Lovely. Oh, it looks so much better. It's the cleanest part of the car now. <laughs> but there we go. Five minute job, sorted. Now, bring it over to the other one and I'll do that. Ah, yes, sorry, I need to do this as well. Anyway, I'll meet you over there. <laughs> Perfect. 
Lovely job. Now, we have two awesome looking M3 and M4 style gloss black mirrors. Now, before we do move on actually to the second thing for today's video, the guys over at Auto ID are giving you guys at home a small little discount for anything on their store, be it the mirror covers, be it their uh, canards or anything else that they do. So all the information is on the screen now and there'll be links down in the description along with all the other stuff that I'm fitting in today's video. But yeah, definitely make use of that and I'm loving the initial looks of the car now. Now, can you spot the difference? Taking these things off, uh, the final bit of this kind of tacky gray kind of plastic, this one also has had a very nasty stone chip, um, which is convenient for the current situation. Now, there are a number of options of going around this. You can wrap them, you can paint them, or you can replace them. I'm going down the wrapping front, um, because I'm actually up in Essex this weekend. Anyway, where C2F4 are based. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop in the GT86 instead. That's why I've taken these off now. Um, oh, I need to stab myself in the eye then. Because <laughs> um, that car needs a bit of a run because this thing's all been around Europe and that car really hasn't been driven all that much. Uh, so head on up there, get those things wrapped and then I can carry on where the filming plans up there anyway. But this is gonna be the final piece of the puzzle. So hop in the 86 onto Essex. So we're in the 86, actually the next day, and You've arrived we have, at your destination. there we go, just arrived. So C2F4 is just in here. I do of course have the old canards. So we'll hop inside, oh, big bump. Oh dear, huge bump actually. And go get these little things wrapped. Can't wait to see them on the car actually. So we're back home, it's actually been about a week since I've got these wraps. Um, as you know, I kind of normally film my videos on the weekends. Today is a weekend, it's the following weekend, basically. We have both the um, parts wrapped, the other one is still in the protective plastic. So, presumably, we just click it back on and then this car will be 100% de-chromed, which I'm very excited for. And then we can get on to the last section of today's video, but more of that in a moment. So. Um, yeah, let's just try and line up all the clips and pop it on. But instantly, just a little test fit. Obviously it's the same part, so it's gonna fit. But yeah, it's gonna look a lot better. Especially when the car's actually clean, so I apologize about that. Um, anyway, let's get this fitted. There we go. Just make sure all the clips are in. <laughs> a lot of clips on these. <laughs> it's actually very deceiving how many little bits there are. I think that's all in. Yeah, sorted. So there we go. Much better. This thing looks properly, properly mean now. That looks so much better. Super, super happy with that. Actually a really difficult part to wrap um, because of just the amount of edges. And obviously you're restricted with how much pressure the film or the vinyl can take obviously with sharp edges like that um, but yeah sorted lovely jubbly I, I, I'm really confused why this car didn't come from factory with this painted in gloss black because we've got the black kidney grills this thing is a shadow edition so you would kind of think shadow edition would be dechromed but no only the grills and then the rest of it so these and the mirrors were just that tacky gray these look awesome anyway Moving on to the back of the car now for the final piece of the puzzle, which is the exhaust tips. Now, you probably know I've never liked the exhaust tips on this car. The same as the original rear diffuser that was on it. Of course, I now have the Riga diffuser fitted uh, by the guys up at Motec, but now the exhaust tips don't look anything, really. <laughs> if anything, they look worse because you've got a really aggressive rear diffuser and then you've just got those so uh, we've got some new ones to go on so I've got to work at how uh, we do that get them fitted and then this car will be looking a lot lot better 
and closer to where I want it to be. Now, before I show you the new tips which are in those two boxes there, I need to show you kind of what we need to do to get the original ones off. Now, these are slip-on tips. So basically, this outer section here um, basically slips off. Now, it's very tightly um, fitted on there, so hence why I have a mallet, because we need to get under here and basically hit the back uh, can you see that under there? Hit the back of the slip-on tip um, and essentially, gradually, it will just come off. Then, we need to grab this little saw. I know, I'm getting a saw and I'm attacking my car with it because this is going to be even harder to show you. In there, do you see that up there? That little sticky out bit which has no kind of use at all. Um, but basically, we need to saw that off because the new tips um, won't fit otherwise. So that's what we've got to do basically. I've never done this before. I've seen some uh, tutorials on YouTube so I have a basic idea, but how hard can it be? And there we go. Sorted. One off, one fully prepped exhaust, ready for the new one. Right. Oh, that really hurt actually. <laughs> right, got to do another one and then we'll be good to go. Well, that's flattering, isn't it? Now, moving on to the second one. <laughs> I've never filmed a video on the floor before. Um, what was I going to say? I don't know, I'm kind of relaxed now. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was it. So, um, if you are looking to do this for yourself, I do suggest putting up on a ramp or some sort of way of getting the car higher. Maybe even taking the rear bumper off, that might be easier. Um, of course, I'm not. I'm just being very careful, which makes it quite tricky to get up there. Um, but I have heard if you do take the bumper off, um, you basically have all the room in the world. So, in hindsight, Probably should have done that, but you know, I'm an idiot, so I haven't. Um, anyway, we're getting close to be um, to being able to pop these on. Um, I won't show you yet, but they are pretty cool, um, and they are going to look awesome on the car. Um, I'm just procrastinating, really. It's basically what I'm doing. So I need to, I need to, I need to crack on. <laughs> so um, we do some silly things on this channel, and um, sometimes things don't go to plan, and this hasn't. <laughs> so, <laughs> I can reassure you, this is not a hard task to do, okay? I'm just completely the wrong person to be doing it. We're very close to being there, but um, I'm going to have to go buy a new saw. <laughs> Lovely, that's all sorted. Thank you Perfect. very much. Thank you very much. We have returned, and how satisfying is that? <laughs> okay, we're back. We now have a new blade on the uh, hacksaw. We just have one little bit left to do. If I remember right, we should just in there. You might be able to see that. Uh, the car looks actually kind of weird without the uh, tips um, or the, the shroud, shall we say. Anyway, I'll get this done and then it's time to put on the new ones. Ah. Success. So, 
I think it is the perfect time to now show you the exhaust tips that are going on my car. Now, the guys who have supplied them for me are the guys over at R44 Performance. Again, all the links will be down below. But one good thing which I found was doing some research uh, about just general companies who supply things like this is R44 have a warranty. In this case, a one year warranty. Don't know if you can see that on there, but it's valid from the 5th of Feb to the 5th of Feb. Uh, next year, so I bought this on the 5th of Feb. So I've been waiting to put these on here for quite a while, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll put that down there and we will get out one of the exhaust tips. Now, of course, there are two, the other one's in here. Um, and they are M Performance exhaust tips, finished on the inside in black and the outside in carbon fiber. I'm hoping you can see that. Huge exhaust tips. In fact, let's just grab the old one. Oh, there's still grip coming out of it, um, but yeah, huge upgrade. Um, and I've been wanting to fit these, like I said, for a very long time. So the reason why we had to take off um, the, where's the metal bit gone? Those little bit metal bits is because basically, I don't even know what it's for. I don't even think it's any use for the standard tips, um, but obviously they need to come off. So then you can pop these on. Basically they're slip on. Um, so you just pop them on and then screw them up tight with the bracket here. So basically, fairly obviously, to get them on, we're gonna have to uh, loosen it off. They are labeled as well with which side goes which. Um, so the other one is for the valve side, and this is the valve exhaust. Pretty obviously, have a look through and see which one has the valves. Um, right, let's have a little look. First of all, I'm gonna do a little test fit, just to uh, make sure the M is all nice and lined up then we shall do them up. But yeah, it's on here. Obviously, it is quite a tight fit because, I mean, a slip-on system, it shouldn't really be um, wobbling around once it has been completely tightened up, basically. I think I have them stuck out a little bit. So something like that, Pat. I'll show you this close-up because it looks flipping awesome. Oh, yes. Obviously, I haven't completely uh, it's all the stuff's going everywhere. Haven't completely um, finished fixing it in place, but have a little look at that. How cool does that look? Along with the gloss black Riga diffuser when it's actually clean, will look pretty cool. Now under here, we of course have a little bracket, which we're gonna have to uh, tie up. But basically, it's just a case of popping them on, um, slipping them on to a distance which you're happy with, making sure the other one is the same, and then tightening up you're good to go. Now the guys over at R44 Performance have very kindly given me a discount code for you guys at home to grab if you want these or anything else on their store. So they basically specialize in any cosmetic stuff like exhaust tips, uh, mirror covers, diffusers, splitters, the lot. So again, all their information will be down, links down below, but the code is 14 lap, fairly obviously, and the discount is 10% off. So go and make use of that. Go follow the links in the description. And uh, well, if you want some of these, go grab them. So it's time to get this one ready to pop it on. Now, a couple of other things worth mentioning. Number one is all these, uh, well, all the parts that they uh, sell are UK stocked. So if you're based in the UK, that's ideal. And there's also a bit of a helpline service. If you do want to fit them yourself, um, some uh, tutorials and everything to help you along the way. Like I am not the most mechanically minded person. And don't get me wrong, this isn't a tricky task, but I'd be the one person that would make it tricky, believe me. <laughs> Probably should have untightened this one a little bit more, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, I think that is pretty much straight. I'll line them up off camera, make sure they are 100%, and then we'll tighten them up and we'll be good to go. So, sorted, okay. <laughs> The car is now complete, at least for this video. Um, I think it calls for a cold start. Let's do it. So as the car rumbles away behind me, I think that's pretty much gonna wrap up today's video. Some very subtle mods, but ones which have drastically changed the look of the car. A huge thank you goes to Auto ID for the mirror covers, C2F4 for wrapping my front canards, and of course, uh, R44 Performance for the exhaust tips. All three links will be found below, along with two discount codes for you guys if you wanna go grab them for yourself. But anyway, 
that's going to wrap things up for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures that's coming.